क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी टॉपिक हाउ डू ऑर्गेनिजम रीप्रोड्यूस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट असेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रीप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिजम टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रीप्रोडक्शन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेक्शुअल मोड ऑफ रीप्रोडक्शन sexual reproduction is a process in which male germ cell that is the sperm it fuses with a female sex cell known as ovum to form a new cell known as zygote that is said to be as the sexual mode of reproduction here before going detail about the sexual mode of reproduction first we'll see why there is a need of sexual mode of reproduction why the sexual mode of reproduction is necessary the sexual mode of reproduction is a necessary of the organism or species to live and survive you know very well in the dna replication in the dna replication the cell divides in the reproduction in the dna replication where the cell is dividing at that time where there is a small error in the replication of the cell this small error in the replication of cell leads to the variation this variation is less rare compared to the organisms which are reproducing by sexual mode of reproduction to asexual mode of reproduction this variation is very helpful to the organisms which will live and survive in a changeable environmental conditions so variations are necessary for the survival of the fittest and evolution of a species these variations are not helpful for the individual of the organisms but this is very useful for the species group of a populations of the organisms so for that each individual of organisms where the variations occurring in the reproductions where it helps to live and support the life so we can see this chance of survival or the chance of the variations we can see in sexual mode of reproduction how because in sexual mode of reproduction there we can see two different individual organisms where these two different individual organisms as in the case of the sperm and the ovum they have their previous generations variant variations these previous generations variations variant when they combine to form a new cell that new cell gets maximum variation this maximum variation is very helpful for the organisms which they live and cell survive in the environment so uh, it is necessary uh, what the, for the it is the, so it is necessary for the reproduction which one sexual mode of reproduction is much necessary so to get much variation there is a need of sexual mode of reproduction next question it arises why does dna not get doubled during sexual mode of reproduction you know for example when we took the chromosomal number the human have the chromosome number 46 like other organisms they have their own chromosomal numbers 
but here the in sexual mode of reproduction the two individuals are responsible for the mode of reproduction the 46 number of chromosomes and the 46 but it is very important that the non reproductive or the somatic cells they are have the 46 number of chromosomes but the sex cells are the germ cells they have half the number of chromosomes and they have half the amount of dna this is very important the germ cells or the sex cells they have half a number of chromosomes or the half the amount of the dna when compared to the somatic cells we'll go by the chart we'll understand easily example always the germ cells they are always half the number of chromosomes that is haploid n number of chromosomes when compared to the somatic cells somatic cells always they are diploid in nature they have double number of chromosomes compared to reproductive here 23 number of chromosomes that is haploid and 23 number of chromosomes from one parent to another when they in the fertilization they form the 46 number of chromosomes that is diploid in nature so when we compare to other generations when we go in other generations the present organisms n number of chromosome with another individual of n number of chromosome again it go on continuous that is the uh, 2n number of the diploid number of chromosome so in the individual organisms the number of chromosome remains constant and it is very important that to form a zygote to get the fertilization and to form a zygote and grow the individual organisms here it is very important a uh, male and the female sex cells contributions how they contribute each other in the formation of a zygote for that it is very necessary uh, to have the food and the moment mainly the female germ cell it is bigger in size and it is non motile it do not move from place to the another place but it stores the food that stored food is provided for the growing zygote and on the other hand the male sex cell that is the sperm that is a very small in size and it not stores any food but it is motile in nature that moves from place to the place and to form a zygote and in next session we are going to learn about the sexual reproduction in flowering plants then afterwards humans thank you